It's uh, it's all a build up to this. Yeah. Hot news, ladies and gentlemen, and Sarah. Can't wait. Take it away. Dan just threw the short stick. He didn't want to do the intro. I'm sorry, Dan. <laughs> it's very celebrity to hide behind a dark set of shades, but now we're learning the real reason why Bono sports his specs. The YouTube frontman revealed on BBC's BBC One's Graham Norton show that he suffers from a common chronic eye condition, glaucoma, and recalled getting tested for it. Uh -oh. this, is, this is a good place to explain oh, oh, oh. to people. No, I, I'm, I, I have glaucoma for mm -hmm. the, uh, the last 20 years. Oh, okay. And although it, it, it actually is a sensitivity, your eyes get very sensitive to the light, so it makes sense that he always looks very cool and fancy. Yeah, good to say. He looks great in there. I mean, it's, it's worked well for him. It's become a signature look. Yeah, no absolutely. one needs to know why. Yeah. It's fine. But we know. It happens. <laughs> Bono can do anything. He can do anything. And lots of buzz around the new Star Wars Episode Seven movie with the latest news about a returning cast member. Fans of Return of the Jedi will remember Warwick Davis as Wicket. Warwick Davis, excuse me, as Wicket the Ewok. He was only 12 years old at the time. The Star Wars folks making the announcement of his new role in a hilarious video where he gets the call. Um, just gonna check the diary. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Pinewood. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. Right. No. Force be with you. Yes! <laughs> no word on whether he'll actually play an Ewok or another character. The movie's on track to be released in December 2015. He better play an Ewok. You yeah, don't I mean, bring someone is back. That, is that a hint that we're going to have Ewoks in these in these new movies? Oh, it's yeah. not yeah. technically a hint, but I really hope so. The Ewoks were my favorite. And they're bears, not dogs. No, they're they're, they're kind of grown chihuahuas. Okay. Everything's a chihuahua, no. Sarah. Everything is a chihuahua in my world. And George Clooney, or as I like to call him, Mr. Alamudin, is showing the world his wife isn't the only one with a job. He's been spotted back on the set of the movie Tomorrowland, which is shooting in Vancouver, Canada. As you can see here, no more wedding diet for him. His hands are full of yummy snacks. His wife, Amal Clooney, has been busy in Greece, where she's been advising the government. And I think we have a picture of here. She is the picture of elegance wow. wherever she goes. And no word on when the couple will be reunited. Clearly, they had the most glamorous wedding of the year. I love that she's out advising governments right. and he's walking around a movie set with snacks. Eating. I think yeah. that's what landed him, though. It was like uh, no other woman. She's like back at work, making yeah. changes, doing good things. He's got to be a country club dad. He or, is or a stay-at-home a house boo. <laughs> house boo. The hottest like house boo ever. <laughs> and now maybe you have some finicky eaters at home, so you can relate to this next story. The folks at the National Sea Life Center in England had a pair of otters, mango and apricot, who wouldn't eat their fruits and veggies, although they're named after fruits. They answered their own <laughs> gourmet chef. The staff got creative and decided to disguise them inside some homemade sushi, and the two just gobbled them up. How cute is this? That's Hiding. Kind of cute, but also slightly vicious looking. No. Really? Well, they otter, chomp otter, down otter, the That looks like an nice. ice cream sandwich. I'm mm -hmm. sure any animal could be a little teeth. aggressive. Yeah. They're they could chew a hole in something ferrets. there. They're probably thinking, where's the head? Where's the right. tail? Where are the gills? Why do they need fruits and vegetables? Yeah, I ripped this sushi apart. That was a good debate, but I, clearly yeah. they feel they're adding some know. necessary vitamins they're not getting in their diet. They're kids. Every kid yeah. needs fruits and veggies. Yeah, but in the wild, they wouldn't be eating fruits and vegetables, right? No, they wouldn't. I'm going to look into that. <laughs> we'll do you know, a follow up on this. Sarah's pop, like, you know, I, I signed up to do pop news, not to answer uh, zoology questions. But uh, I signed up for two pictures of otters, and y'all are asking tough questions. <laughs> is it zoology? It's so zoology. Okay. Yeah, trust right. me on this one. We'll be one. back with on Deves and zoology after a quick break. Keep it here. Isn't it on Deves, Sarah? Isn't it on Deves? <laughs>